Hello everybody, really, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be having a look at how you can update your GTA and keep all your mods while doing so. So this video is going to be part of a playlist called Learn GTA 5 Morning Albos, where if you haven't checked out the previous episodes, a card are going to be in the top right right now, so make sure you check those out as well. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So remember, if you followed my video on how to prepare for GTA updates and revert your GTA version, you added a rule in your firewall. So if we want to actually update our GTA, we're going to have to disable that rule. So what we can do is you can go over, right click our start button and go over to control panel. And then we're going to go over to Windows Firewall, Advanced Settings, and Add Bad Rules. And we can right click this and disable the GTA 5 Launcher Block Rule that we created in the previous episode. If you didn't create this, you won't have to worry about that at all. So once we've done that, we can go back over to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. And what we can then simply do is we can update our GTA 5. So a number of ways you can do this. If you're on Steam, you're going to have to go into your Steam and right click GTA 5. Uh, properties and then verify your game files if it doesn't update automatically and for retail you can quite simply hit playgta5.exe and it is going to update so because i'm on the retail version of gta i'm going to quite simply hit playgta5.exe and it's going to launch this and it's going to update itself to the latest version so once that is all completed i'm going to be cutting over uh, to you as you can see it's now loading and it's uh, going to come up with the uh, update bar very very shortly so once this is all finished, I'm going to be cutting back over to you and we'll continue the tutorial. So now that our game is all up to date, we're going to be going over to the Rage Plug Nook website and we're going to have to download the latest version of Rage Plug Nook for the latest game patch. So we can quite simply open our browser. So we're going to go over to the download section of RagePlugInLook.net. A link for this is also going to be down in the description. And uh, we are going to be downloading the latest version of Rage Plug Nook uh, that is going to be supporting the latest game patch uh, with a version number that will be listed at the top. Obviously for me now that is 1032 and for you that might be something different depending on when you're actually watching this. So we're going to simply download the latest version that is at the top right now. And we're going to save it in a new folder called Rage Plugin Hook like that. And I'm just going to put it in there and all the versions of Rage Plug Nook I'm going to be saving in there for the future. So I'm going to hit save and then we're going to open that using WinRAR. And we're going to extract it into that folder. And once that is all extracted, you can see this is now the latest Rage Plug Nook 0.52 folder. Uh, we are going to select all of these files using Ctrl A on the keyboard. So hit Ctrl A, you'll select all the files. Then we're going to hit Ctrl C on the keyboard or you can right click and select copy. And then we're going to go back over to our Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. And we are going to hit Ctrl V on the keyboard or select paste. And you're going to replace all the files in the destination. So make sure you hit replace. And now we're going to be on the latest RageBlogging version. As you can see, if we hover over RageBlogging.exe, we'll see that that is now version 0.52. So now we have updated our RageBlogging.exe and we have updated our game. Now, if you haven't installed anything with OpenIV before, you will now be finished and you'll be able to play your game. However, I, as you might remember from our previous episode, created a mods folder and in that mods folder I installed quite a lot of vehicle mods and pet mods as well. So because I'm now on a new version of GTA, I'm going to have to update some of the files that are contained in this mods folder. So what we're going to do is we are going to be opening OpenIV. Now we're going to go over and select Grand Theft Auto 5 on Windows and we're just going to wait for that to start up. So once we started up our Grand Theft Auto 5 in OpenIV, we are going to have to go over into our mods folder and then update folder. And the file that is going to be updated to the default for the latest version of GTA, which needs to be done for every new version of GTA, is the update.rpf file inside the update folder. So we are going to have to create some backups of the files we edited in the update.rpf uh, to ensure that we don't have to do that all again. Uh, once we do replace the update.rpf we have now with the one for the new GTA version. So we're going to go over into update.rpf common uh, data and the files we're going to want to back up are going to be the handling.meta file and the levels GTA 5 and vehicles.meta file. Now remember that we also install a few other mods in here. The visual settings for make visuals create again are also installed inside of this location however that is quite simply a simple OIV installation. So I'm not going to worry about backing those files up because I can really easily just run that OIV again and it'll all be installed successfully back into the new version of update.rpf later. So the only files you're going to want to back up are handling.meta and vehicles.meta. 
And another file that you probably changed if you followed my previous episodes uh, is the gameconfig.xml file. However, the gameconfig.xml file changes with every GTA 5 update. So if you do update your game, you're going to have to wait until your download page updates a new gameconfig.xml for your uh, new version of GTA. So you can't back this file up and simply put it back in because that is not going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to back up our vehicles.meta and handling.meta files. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder called uh, backup inside of our GTA 5 mods uh, downloads folder. And in this folder, we are going to be dragging the handling.meta and vehicles.meta files. So you can quite simply do that by dragging and dropping handling.meta into here and then going to levels, GTA 5 and dragging and dropping vehicles.meta into here as well. And once that is done, we have created a sufficient backup for our uh, update.rpf slash common slash data uh, folder. Now what you're going to want to do is make sure you're inside of this folder, update.rpf common data inside your mods folder in open IV. And then you're going to hit edit mode. I'm going to hit yes. And as you can see, it's going to say Grand Theft Auto 5 title update. You have an outdated version of update.rpf in your mods folder and you need to copy the new version into your mods folder, otherwise your game will crash. So what we're going to hit is we're going to select copy new version to mods folder. That is going to restore the current update.rpf file with the default one for the new game version. We're going to hit that. Make sure you've updated all the required files before you do this. You're going to hit yes. And as you can see, uh, now our update.rpf common data uh, has been updated for the latest version of GTA and it also now is completely back to default. So what you're going to have to do now to restore these backups is quite simply drag and drop these back over into there like that and then levels GTA 5 and drag and drop the vehicles.meta back into there as well and all your uh, edits to those files will be uh, preserved. Now obviously if you want your visual mods back you can quite simply uh, install your visual mods like make visuals great again uh, in the same way as you did before quite simply follow my uh, tutorial video on how you can install visual mods and is reinstall the OIV package. Now if you followed my tutorials on my modding DLC pack 5 uh, you also need a new version of the gameconfig.xml so what you can quite simply do is you can go over to the link outlined in the modding DLC pack 5 which is going to be up over here. So we can go over to the modding DLC pack 5 download readme and then we scroll down just a little bit over to the uh, requirements and there we can see if we are on a GTA 5 version other than the one listed up over here uh, you must download a custom game for config.xml and uh, these are included in this download so we can go over to this link we can quite simply click that and once that does load you can check if your uh, game version is already supported uh, all, all the game versions are already included in this download uh, so what we do is we quite simply hit the download button and we wait for that to download and then we go and save this over inside uh, our let's save it inside our vehicles folder because it is to do with vehicles and we save it up over here the game config download we open it with winrar and we extract it so once that is all downloaded you're going to have to look for your uh, game config.xml for your current game version now if you're not sure which game version you're on again uh, you can quite simply check that by going over uh, mousing over gta5.exe and checking for the file version as you can see that is 1.0.1032.1 which is what we updated to and uh, we can look for that version up over here so you can see that is going to be this folder and I'm going to quite simply select the GTA base this is the normal gameconfig.xml and that is going to be this one so this is then the gameconfig.xml for unlimited and on vehicles and pets that we need to install back into OpenIV what we can quite simply do is we can just pop this up over here a little bit and then we can drag and drop gameconfig.xml into our open IV just like that you can see that is all updated if for whatever reason you're not able to drag and drop you can hit the plus button up over here to add a new file and you can navigate over to the gameconfig.xml that you want to install and it'll also install into here successfully now because we are using the modding dlc pack 5 uh, which is its own separate dlc we also need to add that back to the dlc list so before when we installed the modding dlc pack 5 using the orv installer this is automatically done but because we have just updated our update.rpf with the new uh, default update.rpf for the new game version we need to do it manually and this goes for every single uh, mod you have installed that has its own custom dlc examples of this include uh, emergency uniforms pack eup 
and uh, Relist and Dispatch Enhanced, I believe. So if we go over into our mods folder, update x64 DLC packs, you can see we have a DLC pack here that is called uh, Modding. So this one in particular is the, uh, the DLC pack folder of the Modding DLC pack 5. So if you installed any custom DLCs, uh, make sure you check what the names of those folders are. So for me, that is going to be Modding. So remember that this is called Modding and remember the name exactly. So once you remember that, and that goes for any other custom DLCs you have like EO EUP, uh, we are going to be going back to our mods folder and then going over to update, update.rpf, common data. And then we're going to be activating our edit mode. And we're going to go over to the DLC list.xml file. We're going to right click that and hit the edit. As you can see, all the DLCs are now included up over here. Uh, however, because this was replaced with the default one, it will no longer include the custom ones that we installed ourselves, like the modding one. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to copy the last line that is here. Let's copy it right like that. And hit Ctrl C on the keyboard or hit the copy button. We're going to put our cursor at the end of the final item. We're going to hit enter. And before the slash pass, so right between this, we are going to add any DLC packs that are custom. So we're just going to hit paste there. So it paste the uh, exact line of the last one that was there. And we're going to replace the name of this with the folder that we remembered earlier. So remember for us, that was modding. And you're going to have to do this for every single custom DLC pack you have. So if you uh, have a DLC pack that was from EUP, you're going to have to do the same for EUP and you're going to name it EUP, just like that. Uh, obviously, I don't have EUP installed, so I'm not going to do this right now because otherwise it's not going to be able to find that. Uh, so I'm just going to remove that. And as you can see, I've now added the modding DLC pack successfully to my DLC list or XML. So that means it's now also going to be loaded by the game. So once you've done that, make sure that your XML format of the DLC list or XML is valid. So make sure that you add any items before the slash paths. Uh, as you can see, I've done that right now, so my XML format is all valid. I'm going to hit the Save button, and that is all going to be saved inside the DLC list.xml. And we're going to be deactivating edit mode. So in terms of updating your GTA 5 and your Rage Blungenug and all of your mods installed with OpenIV, you are now pretty much done. So make sure you have followed all of these steps that I've done precisely. If you make mistakes here, uh, your game might crash during loading screen. Uh, and you might have to inst start installing your mods from scratch again if you made a mistake and don't know where that was. So make sure you followed all these steps precisely. Now for scripts and plugins, they might need to be updated for the new GTA 5 version and the new version of RagePlugin.exe. Uh, so make sure you check out the download pages of the plugins that you do have installed to see if there are any updates available. And then you can quite simply install all of those plugins as you were used to uh, by replacing all the files that are already here. So keep that, keep that in mind that some plugins might need updating for the new uh, Rage Blugginook and GTA 5 versions. Uh, some of them might work, some of them might not work. So you're going to have to experiment with that a little bit. It is always advised to make sure you are on the latest versions of all plugins to ensure that they work optimally with your version of the game. And with that being said, that pretty much concludes our episode on how you can update your GTA 5 and Rage Blugginook and how you can keep all of your mods installed with minimal effort. So I do hope this video helped you out. If it did, please remember to hit the like button. And if you haven't done so yet, please remember to hit subscribe. And uh, if you haven't checked out the previous tutorials in the Learn GTA 5 Morning Albo's Way, make sure to check those out as well for even more useful tips and tricks and tutorial guides on how you can mod your GTA 5 game. So with that being said, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.